Okay, so basically, today I'm going for my, I'm going to call it a chest reduction. Leave me alone, don't roast me. Consult. I'm a little afraid of taking off my shirt in front of a bunch of adults because I'm 15 and, like, that's a little sketchy to me. I'm going to get done like this, though, because, like, I'm not going to be able to afford actual top surgery until, like, I'm in my grave. And my back is about to give out. Um, I qualify for one. That's how, like... You know, binding like that, it's not really a good idea. So I'm going to fix it and then get better, like, full-on top surgery later on in life. But it's cheaper and my back will hurt a lot less if we do it this way. So, yeah. But also, my mother is transphobic and she gets that I need this done for, like, medical reasons and stuff. So she's allowing it. But, like, this is going to be awkward for me. Like, really fucking awkward. So, yeah, that'll be really fun. You can probably hear my cat in the back. Yep, there he is. Peanut! I'm switching schools next year. I'm going to start going to college. So, like, I want to pass. You know what I mean? Like, I want to start going by my birth name. I don't feel like... I feel like my mom just thinks that the medical aspect of transitioning when you're young is, like, bad. And, like, I get that. But, like... I don't know, she compared me getting full-on top surgery at 15, which is just like, I said that I was going to get chopped off all the way when I was older, and she was like, you know, when I was 14, I, I begged my mother for a tattoo, and you know, I'm, I'm really glad that I didn't get that tattoo, because I would regret it. Like, bitch, that ain't the same thing. Peanut! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> this is my goth boy, who I love. Peanut. Oh, you got the spider web on your <laughs> whisker. Okay, this is, I'm not at my house. I'm at somebody else's house. It was really awkward. Um, so I get in there. The guy across from me has a Make America Great Again hat. And I was like, oh God. Because like, I don't know, just look at me. I get back there. The lady thought that it was my mother who was getting the surgery, which, you know, is a little uncomfortable. Having to explain that now. It's me. She's like, yo, take off all of your like top half and put on this robe. And I'm like, great. The robe didn't even have any like straps in the front. So I just kind of had to hold it. And I made my mom leave the room for that part. And then she came back in. And then literally the prettiest guy that I've ever seen walked in. And I was like, oh fuck. It was a lot. So he walks in. He asked me all these questions, and they're like, do you have back problems? Do you have headaches? Do you have rib problems? Do you play sports? And I was like, no, I don't play sports anymore because it hurts. And we kind of chatted. And then they had to measure me, which was really awkward because I didn't think that he was actually going to, like, grab me. I thought, I mean, like, I knew that he was going to, but some of the measurements were so weird. His hands were really cold too, and I didn't look at him, but I was really nervous that like my nips were gonna get hard. I was like, please don't, please calm down. He was, he was so cold in there. <laughs> I was nervous about that. They, they did this weird thing where while they were measuring me, they did like one side at a time. So he'd be like, now open up the right side, and I'd be like, and then he'd measure that side, and then he'd be like, all right, flip. You know what I mean? With the little robe thing. The lady in there, she made me more uncomfortable than he did. I was 90% sure that he was gay. So I was like, we chill, buddy. But then this lady came in, and she kept on giving me, like, mean looks. Like, she knew what I was doing. Like, she took one look at me, and she was like, hmm, it's one of, that, one of those transgenders. But the dude was chill. Um... And then I had to take pictures, which was really awkward because, like, I'm 15. No, I stood with my hands at my sides in a very cold room with my top off and my skinny jeans on. And they brought out this big-ass DS DSLR, and they snapped a couple shots. He was, like, because I was, like, I was nervous that they were going to go on the internet or something because, like, there is so much, like, fetish porn like, if you go on the breast reduction Tumblr tag, I was looking for before and afters, but I found some of the weirdest porn that I've ever seen. It was, it wasn't good. But, um, so, 
they take pictures. It's only like from here to like my stomach. And then they were like, here's the kicker. They were like, well, you're 15, so you might still be growing. And I was like, I haven't grown since eighth grade. And he was like, yeah, I know, but the insurance company, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. So he made me schedule my appointment for another six months. Now, if I have to wait six months, I'm going to wait the six months and I'm going to go back. But if they come at me and they're like, yo, you have to wait like another year, I'm not doing it. I'm canceling it. I, if they make me wait that long, I'm just going to get one surgery. Like, sorry, buddy. Yeah, I might have to go to the chiropractor now because my back actually makes me want to kill myself at school. So it's really bad. I'm just like super sad though because... Everyone kind of, like, made me think that I was going to get the surgery, like, on Christmas break. You know what I mean? And for them to be, like, six months, March, come back in March. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, really? Like, I have to wait that long? Jesus. And it's not even, like, the surgery date. It's just another consult. Like, I'd be so fine if they were like, your surgery date is March. I'd be like, hell yeah. But they just gave me another consult. So I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Thank you.